Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, from today, we are going to start a new series where we are going to discuss how we can deploy Super Set in an enterprise level architecture where it will be like auto scaling with big amount of uh, resources like for thousands and thousands of people we are going to deploy like that. So for that, uh, in GitHub, you can find there is a, a second point, Super Set enterprise level uh, architecture. So in this video, at least I'm going to just explain how we're going to deploy everything and then how we can configure. We are going to again go one by one from each video. So it will include salary, it will include radius and so on. When we deployed earlier, we can scale that VM vertically, like how much memory you want, how much RAM you want, how much CPU you want, you can just scale it up. But when it comes to like horizontal scoring that we cannot do with that architecture because we just have a single database that to in that SQL light or even something where you just have one Postgres SQL like that. But in this architecture, you can see how it is going to work and how it is going to scale horizontally. So for architecture diagram, you can find it here. I have kept it in a Google Drive and it is a draw.io file. You can download, you can then edit it. And if you feel something is not correct, just let me know. Or you can just send me something where I will just copy <laughs> or uh, I mean definitely I will give you credit, nothing like that. But yeah, so this is the diagram. I'm just going to open it in new window and uh, I can make it a bit small probably. No, it is not working so okay let it be so this is going to be your load balancer we're going to install nginx uh, load balancer uh, where it is going to redirect those we are just going to configure single 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 instance of everything and uh, because i don't have that much amount of resources and all the vms and doing that is going to be very costly so i'm not going to do that but you can just see how we can configure for one and then just replicate for multiple so load balancer will only need ip addresses for this and uh, then it will just route accordingly once you get inside this vm you can see consider uh, this is a ec2 vm or a zero virtual machine or gcp computer any similar thing or even your uh, pc will also work in this this is similarly similar thing that we have uh, as of now that is going to go on server and inside that we are hosting our apache superset so till this point i mean at least this block we already saw how it was the only difference uh, is that we are here connecting to a single metabase uh, metadata database and all of this superset will only connect to this single database to share all the users and all the information and all the metadata information with this so basically what will happen whenever someone will connect to the load balancer even if he got redirected to the superset the user information will be available in this database so it will be able to authenticate again next time if it com he comes and goes to this superset again same thing will happen and he will be able to log in and there can be like n possibilities whatever you want you can scale that number of resources or spin those many virtual machine and it should just work uh, ideally it will be like a, a, a instance or a image and then you just copy or replicate that so yeah so it will just check for the load on the vm and then it will spin automatically one by one one by one till a point it is feeling okay now it is more than enough and then again when the traffic goes down it will again drop one by one till a point it is like having at least two or three vm according to the redundancy that we get Okay, so this is just UI part and the metadata part. Now we are going to come to the Redis part where the caching and everything will work. Now when it comes to the queries and large amount of or the big amount of queries or a big query where you are going to get a large amount of volume. So Superset what it will do when you don't have this configured, it will run for a minute and it will say timeout because it cannot just keep waiting for your uh, database to give the result. So in this architecture, we're going to configure Redis as well as Celery Worker. So how this is going to work? So Superset is going to tell Redis that, okay, we have a task, this user or uh, this user is con trying to connect to this specific database and he is trying to pull something from this database. So here uh, I, I forgot to add, but there will be some database or data warehouse from where we are going to pull the data. 
so the super set will tell redis that this is a task and redis will maintain a task queue now when we have celery workers celery worker will be connected again to redis so just uh, to make it clear superset will not connect directly to the celery worker and celery worker will not connect to superset even they will not have any idea if they exist so for example if there is not a single celery worker so sometimes what happened so when i was trying i forget to start celery worker workers so superset was just waiting for the result it it sent a query to the redis and it just it was just waiting for the result and it didn't return anything so that's how it is they don't know each other about each other so this one is telling broker that okay we have this task and then redis and the salary will come to redis will pick up the task it will execute and it will return the result and then this result superset will come okay we got the result it will pick up and it will return so this is how the asynchronous task will run again in salary we can have multiple workers and even in one worker we can have multiple threads uh, or multiple task and actually multiple processes so in usually actually whenever i was trying i, I kept it to four so there were four processes running and uh, each processes can so each process can run independent of each other and they can run multiple queries you can see we have one instance two instance and n number of instance number of instance you can grow you can not keep it on auto scale or auto spin like uh, when there is a large number of load on uh, salary workers they will just spin another worker and it will distribute the load if something fails if a server or salary worker fails it will automatically pass on the task to the next uh, instance so it is like it knows how to safely fail over and so on so this is for executing number of large number of queries in asynchronous um, uh, fashion or even big query where you have to wait for large um, uh, or uh, longer duration one more plus point of this architecture is you can keep the result in cache when there is a report and the data is not going to change in that scenario superset will send the request and the data is going to get cached into redis so next time the data that query is not going to go back to the database it will just fetched from cache so it will be a bit or a lot faster than pulling from database so that is also one additional plus point of this architecture you can keep superset report refreshed automatically so that uh, they, when the user comes they will always get uh, faster because it will be cached and ready so this is how the async or asynchronous query execution will work there is one more point that is a uh, salary bit this specific thing i will explain i'm not sure if uh, this will be clear here i'll try to explain as of now so this is nothing but something it works like a cron scheduler it will uh, it will uh, schedule your report to be sent over the mail and you can just say okay send every hour just take screenshot of this specific report and send it to me and this is going to work on that specific thing again uh, there are there is a feature in superset where you can see thumbnails of the report in dashboard so we see list of dashboard or list of reports there is a button where you can see thumbnails so if you enable thumbnail what this is going to do it is going to go to your report it is going to take snapshot and then again it is going to cache this into redis so whenever you go to that specific thumbnail view the images are kept in redis it is quickly going to go to redis and get those images and show you and render you so it will not have to go ahead go again to the report and let it render then take screenshot and so on so this is how the entire uh, enterprise level architecture is going to work where you can have n number of instances for the ui n number of instances for uh, workers and your metadata database can be a specific one say aws rds or ms sql managed instance and something like that which can scale rapidly and can handle lot of requests simultaneously and so on so this is so this will allow you to have 100000 users and so on so that's it for this video new videos for this series will be coming soon uh, it might take some time probably a week or two 
because I have to I'll have to configure everything and probably the VM is going to be bigger because all this service will be running and one more thing that we're going to see we're going to monitor uh, these things from the tool set that we will have for example for Redis we will use uh, another client for Redis that is open source that I saw to see how exactly it is going to get to the back end and so on so if you like this video do like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye